your face after the 109-64 win. Kel Livers showed how athleticism, his athleticism there on that putback dunk with about a minute and a half left to, to go in that ball game. Yeah, he did, and, and he, you know, that's what he was known for in high school. I'm gonna say, very good defender, very good athlete, and, and he continues to get better. And I'm not even just talking about the dunk; that was obviously very impressive. But he, he's gonna be our best defender before the end of the year. I'm gonna say, if he was 15 pounds heavier, he would be our best defender right now. If our guys would compete like that freshman does. Man, our team would be a lot better. But we're making great strides, and, and Kale does a good job, and it's all about habits. He, he's crashing the rim, just hoping for that opportunity, and it, it came off perfect for him. And uh, it's one of those you wish the students were here for that. I one. It would have been nice been, to see. That would have been sweet having uh, the Thanksgiving break here. The students are gone. Tigers win at 109-64. to 64. Coach, 19 three-pointers. You hit 20 last year against OSU Mansfield. Uh, 19 threes, that was the storyline tonight. Obviously, your team came out hot and never cooled uh, the rest of the night. Yeah, and we're, we're a good shooting team. I, I thought that would be one of our strengths all year, and we've proved so far offensively we've been pretty consistent with our scoring. I'm going to say obviously tonight was a little bit of the exception, but we shot extremely well. We got great looks. I really think we forced some bad shots in our previous games, and, you know, we might have, out of 33 threes, I, we might have taken one bad yeah. one. I thought our looks were great. Our unselfishness. Man, it, it's just fun to watch our guys when they get in that rhythm, and, and tonight was fun to watch. And, and I think the the one bad three, maybe the two bad threes you took were early in the ball game. You didn't get the ball reversal. You were looking for just one pass, a quick shot early in the shot clock. And that's exactly that's correct, 100. percent And that's something we continue to tell our guys: the ball can't stick. We got to get it from side to side, and we got to get stops. Our best offense is getting stops and yeah. playing in transition. And again. Our goal is to hold teams under 39%, which we haven't done all year until tonight, and, and we did that. The only, the only negative was the rebounding, but we held them to 32%. We got our transition offense going, and, and again, we just sort of took off. Talk about the rebounding. Central Penn out rebounded the Tigers 42-31, to 31, had 18 offensive rebounds, 18 second-chance points. Couldn't take advantage of it as much as they would have hoped with those 18 offensive rebounds. Uh, but uh, that's beside the point. They were held without a 3, 0 of 17, and you, you held them to 32% shooting. Your defense, you mentioned it at the very top, uh, very start of this interview, your defense, and Jalen Coates is in the grill of the, the guy bringing the ball up the floor. They can't get into their offense whenever you have your top guys uh, pressuring the ball like that. It starts with Jalen, and we, we talked after the IU Southeast game because, you know, he didn't play as many men's as he liked. I didn't think he was totally engaged. And whenever you're guarding the ball, it starts with that. And it makes everybody's job easier whenever you have ball pressure like he has. And the last two games, man, he's been really good on the ball. And it's proven that our defense can be good. Against Freed, we gave up more points than I like, and they shot a better percentage. But that team was very good in reading our defense and everything. Tonight, we really stymied him and did a good job. And again, going into the year, I thought rebounding would be one of our iffy things right there and, and we've been really good up until tonight and it's sometimes hard when you're in a game like this and you're being so consistent on the offensive end you, you sort of lose focus at times and we did but again it's something we can learn from and, and continue to get better because I told him at halftime I'm always going to nitpick and my only nitpick at halftime was rebounding, I'm going to say, because we have to shore that up. And we didn't really do it the second half, but we'll, we'll get it for tomorrow. Uh, now, moving ahead to tomorrow. Uh, first, before we do that, Hagan Tyler, <laughs> 17 points. He scored, I believe it was, have to look at my score sheet here. How many did he have in the first half? 15, 15. I believe, yeah. Uh, broke the 1,000 career mark for him. Hagan, he's a special player. Uh, anybody can see that. He scored over almost 500 points his freshman year, 400 points last year, and he's on, he's on his way to a stellar career here at Campbellsville. He will continue to rise. You know, he still has over a year and a half left, so he'll continue to rise up that, that scoring leader. And, you know, he's, he's always been a constant for us, and he hasn't really shot the ball particularly well. And tonight, he really got going. We, we did a great job of finding him in transition. He missed some shots that normally he would make, but again, four of seven, we can't really complain. And he finally made some free throws, which he struggled with. But he did a great job, and our guys, I love just how unselfish we are because we got to play everybody. We got to sit some guys and rest them for tomorrow. And, and I love seeing the minutes where they were, but what I really love seeing is the assist and how many we have. and how few turnovers we have. You talk about 29 assists compared to the eight turnovers, 29 assists though to the 38 made shots. And yeah, 19 of them were threes, probably easier assists instead of getting in the lane. But Jacob King got in the lane quite a few times. Uh, Tim Coleman got in the lane. King, seven assists. That's a career high for him. His 13 points is also a career high. Let's talk about that freshman for a second. My freshman, I love him. I'm going to say, you, you know, you never really know until they get here what they can do. You like them in high school, you recruit them. 
I knew Jacob King. He came from a great high school that, you know, coached by Mike Zabo, that he would do things right. That, you know, he works as hard as anybody. He's in the gym as much as anybody. He's, he's going to be a really good player for us. You know, a lot of people didn't recruit him because of being 5'8 or 5'9. And, you know, that was something we looked at. But after watching him and how productive he is, there was no way we could pass on him. We're very lucky to have him. And, again, Kel Livers, we're very lucky to have because they're two guys that could play a high level of basketball. You talk about King played 20 or twenty minutes tonight. Kel Livers played 21. Good to get their feet wet early in the season like this as freshmen. Uh, but moving into tomorrow, you have another game tomorrow. Uh, second weekend in a row, you're going to have a couple games in a row. Actually, uh, probably, what, the third, uh, second weekend in four weekends, I guess, to start the season. Um, you're going to have back-to-back -back games in consecutive days. But uh, Brescia earlier lost to University of the Cumberland's 84-64. Uh, what does it know about this Brescia ball club going in tomorrow? Very well, Coach. Play really hard. Our biggest thing is we can't score watch. You know, Brescia, they've struggled, but they've played a good schedule. At the half tonight, it was seven. With five minutes to go in the first half, Cumberland's uh, at Brescia had cut it to four. Brescia is not a team that, that we can take lightly. I think a little bit of us last weekend with IU Southeast, we took a little bit lightly. So hopefully that was a very good learning experience for us. Hopefully tomorrow we'll come in with the right mindset. We'll guard and play good team defense like we did tonight. And if we do that, we'll, we'll have a very good chance to win the game. Coach, we appreciate the time, and good luck tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow after the game. Thanks, Jordan. As head coach Brent Vernon, as the Tigers win it tonight, 109-64 to over Central Penn.